A decades-old Oklahoma murder case now headed to the U.S. Supreme Court. The case involves two Native Americans. And as Micah Hatfield explains, the outcome could have a major impact on our state. Micah? In the 1990s, Muscogee Creek Nation citizen Patrick Murphy was sentenced to death for killing another member of his tribe. An appeals court reversed that decision, saying the crime happened on tribal land and Murphy never should have been tried by the state. Until recently, state and federal officials assumed tribal boundaries no longer existed. But that appeals court ruled last summer that those boundaries do still exist. Today, the U.S. Supreme Court decided they would review the appeal court decision. An attorney we spoke to tells us their decision could have a broader impact. Well, there's a possibility that uh, people who are presently incarcerated who would fall into the category of being an Indian and having committed an offense on what's referred to as Indian land could file an application for post-conviction relief. Uh, it's estimated there's a couple hundred in Oklahoma State prisons today. The Muscogee Creek Nation encompasses 4,600 square miles, including most of Tulsa. If the Supreme Court upholds the appeals court ruling, the state would likely just have authority over traffic violations and crimes against people not of Native American descent. Not to mention other tribes could claim their boundaries also still exist. That would mean about 40% of Oklahoma could become Indian Territory. Attorney General Mike Hunter says his office looks forward to presenting their case and getting clarity for our state. It is unclear, though, when we could have an answer. Micah Hatfield, Two Works for You.